All right, and, and then from here, uh, so the reason he's so stiff right now, the reason he's standing in this sort of T-pose stance uh, is because, well, he's being guided by animation. And, and right now we only have a single keyframe, or rather, you know, no keyframes because he's just, he's in the T-pose. So he's trying to guide, he's being guided by the T-pose. If you were to change the animation, or let's say you change the T-pose, uh, let's say after a while he bends his hind legs. So I'm going to put some keyframes on the hind legs. Uh, and then over time, let's say, let's do from here, uh, a couple of frames forward, he bends his hind legs, and then also the lower hind legs. Uh, so now he goes from the standing position up to here. So I'm going to go back now, and then play from there. Right, so you see now, now the animation has changed, so the simulation is trying to match that animation. You know, and then the same goes for, uh, well, let's say the the front legs. Let's say from here. Uh, I'm just going to put some keyframes on these guys. Uh, and then after, or like somewhere around here, I want them to have bent these forward. These forward, please, and then these. They're gonna go back. Oh, not sure what's what's going on here. Key, key. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, and when I go forward now, he's gonna be, well, going down. He's gonna do a little bowing motion. Uh, maybe you want the the front feet to also. Bend. So I'll do this one and that one, and as he goes down, I want the front feet to sort of counteract that motion. Something like that. Uh, you know, and the same same uh, same thing goes for the the back feet. You can see how they're sort of lifting off. Uh, you can either animate to counter, you know, counter animate that, uh, but you could potentially maybe loosen up the feet. So that's you know like to, because he's very tense right now. Right? He's 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 like tensing his muscles uh, very uh, hard. <laughs> so if you were to loosen that up just for the feet, it's possible that that would be fine. You have the guide strength right here for just the you know these two controls. So if I lower you by like a half you, uh, so now they won't be as tense. But uh, you you have to be careful because if you uh, let's say you zero it out altogether, well then they will be just be uh, <laughs> well. It, you can't really see it here, but they're not tens at all. They're very loose, so it's it's quite possible for him to uh, to trip, to fall over. Okay, let's see if we can um, incite it to fall over. We're gonna try and force the feet to to break. Um, I want him to kick up. Uh, maybe he'll do like a, a flip. So um, from here, I'm gonna set a key. Uh, and then like three, say four frames later, I want him to be all the way here. All right? So now when I, uh, well, set another the key. So now when I go back, let's see, are they interpolating? Okay. So now when I go back, he'll lift his feet. All right? Okay, that's maybe not fast enough, but let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, at the same time, I want these to do the opposite, so I'll set a key, and then I'll go to there, and set another key. So now when I go back, it will lift both of them. All right, so far so good. Uh, and actually, let's see if I can line these up. I want them to kick really fast. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I'll do the same thing for the, the final two hind legs key. And I'll go to where the others were, here, and I'll just rotate this guy as well. Key. So now he's basically jumping, right? It's not fast enough. Uh, but now you can see how the feet are. No, well, no, no, not quite. They're doing a pretty good job. They're doing a pretty good job at uh, stabilizing this pose. But yeah, you can see how they're not really. 
they, they can twist however much they want. There are currently no, uh, we haven't talked about limits yet, but there's no limits in place to prevent it from entering into an, uh, sort of an, unato un an unanatomical uh, position, right? It can rotate very oddly, like you see. This is probably not a very realistic uh, or possible pose for the feet to have. Um, so that's why you want to have uh, either limits, which we haven't covered yet, uh, or at least some guide strength, so that it's, so it's trying to follow the um, the input animation somewhat. Okay, well he's not really jumping, right? So can we make him jump? Let's see if I can do that. I think for starters we need some more. We need more energy from this pose. Let's set a key here. And as he goes down, I also want him to go down like this. Let's see where am I now? Yeah, in this direction. Actually, no, in that direction. I want him to raise his legs as he's going down. So now if I go back, there we go. Oh, I forgot the other one. Let me get the other one as well. Just to see, please. And both of you, oops. I want both of you up here. Alright, so now he's getting a lot of energy. And uh, the tail is oh, not looking too sharp. It's very floppy, very loose. Uh, so I'm just going to increase the guide strength for the time being. Okay, there we go. So he's going down probably a bit much. You know, now you're entering into subjective territory. You can keep, you could tweak this forever. So I'm going to go down, say, uh, a little less. Maybe like there. Maybe a little less still. That's probably enough right there. There we go. Uh, and then, <laughs> okay. Uh, bear with me. All right, bear with me. Okay, so now we have all of the um, the joints of the leg, and he is jumping, but just not fast enough. So I'm just going to move these in so that he has two keyframes or two frames to do the jump on. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> it's still not enough. It's not enough. Maybe he needs even more tension on the legs. Could that be it? Uh, if we have a lot more tension, we double it for the legs. Okay, okay, and then we give it just one frame. Uh, because remember, this is the animation, so the resulting simulation will not actually happen over one frame. It's just the energy will come from one frame. And then hopefully he will, well, he will jump. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Well, a slight jump. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to tinker more with this now. <laughs> uh, after he jumps, you probably want to remove the tension, right? Because he jumps, uh, but then he. Um, it doesn't need to be that tense anymore, so let's get it down to like 0.2. So he should jump and just like let go of his legs. Oh, sorry, I didn't even set a key. 0.2, set keyframe. There we go. There we go. So now he jumps, he's very tense, and they become a lot more loose after that. And let's make let's make his whole posture loose after that. The multiplier just goes down to 0.3. Very low. Whoa, there we go. So he jumps and then blah. And there you go. So now you have a dog that is uh, unable to, to jump that well and ultimately perishes from his inability to jump. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed.